Hey folks, this is Iowa Ether on. We're back. So, I've been wanting to do another one of these Reddit videos for a while, and then I just keep forgetting. Uh, and so, I got the time right now, so let's do it right now. Um, so, as you guys know, or as some of you probably know, I'm a cook by trade, and that's what I do all day. And so, every day, I come home with burns and cuts and scrapes that I don't necessarily know when and where they happened. <laughs> and so, this subreddit is, like, you know, close by my heart, because this is, of course, the OSHA subreddit. This is the old, <laughs> old school art accents, otherwise known as... I can't remember what OSHA actually stands for, actually. But it's it's a safety uh, association. And so... Yeah, we're just going to start at number 20, which was down here. This sign at my job. This is the top for the last year, by the way. It's better to correct an unsafe friend than bury one. Yes. Yes, that's true. <laughs> why would you ever choose? Why, why is there a choice here? Why is there a check mark and X? It's not like... <laughs> it's, do you want to check yes or do you want to check no? No, no, you always check yes here. <laughs> Why would you? Ah, uh, funny, funny, funny. Ah, uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I've never dealt with trying to bury a friend, by the way. Um, but I've definitely tried to correct unsafe friends. That doesn't necessarily go well. Uh, Pasadena PD helicopters get a little too close. Helicopters. Oh, yeah, this can't poss- Oh, lord. Are they gonna hit- Oh! Yes, as it turns out, they are in fact going to demolish each other. It's because it's a slick surface and the second helicopter just lands and then slowly slides into the second one. Or into the first one. Ah! Thankfully- Actually, I don't know about the second pilot. The first pilot gets... first pilot isn't in the machine. You can see him standing there right at the door. Right there. Oh, and he gets picked up. And dro oh, Lord. That blade almost hit him. Or possibly did hit him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, so... um, So, note to self. Next time I'm, you know, doing maintenance on a helicopter, if I hear another helicopter coming in for landing... I should leave. <laughs> that's that's what I got out of that. What what did you get out of that? Okay. So new lockdown procedures. Oh, good. Lockdown procedures are, are really really key to people not dying. Um. That's not how you do a lockdown procedure. <laughs> so normally, sorry, lockout, not lockdown. Lockdown is something completely different. Lockout is normally when you uh, put a physical lock, like a like a bike lock kind of thing, on a, on a control panel so that nobody can open it and turn on while you're working with live power. That's different. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that before, though. <laughs> it does put me in mind to some of the machines I was working with at the factory when I used to work at the factory and. There was these giant signs around that said, "Do not uh, put any uh, any body part inside the machine, like underneath the hood, while the machine is running." And these the hoods were these giant yellow hoods on on the front of the machine, Just insanely hard to miss. Always propped open with the two by four, and always everybody had their heads stuck inside, fiddling with something while the machine was running. But you know there was still giant signs around telling you this was unsafe. Not that anybody ever listened, mind you. Um, <laughs> this drinking fountain at work has been this way for years. Quite shocking. Oh, I bet you that's going to be a pun. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's a bad, bad plan. Bad, bad, bad plan. So I'm just going to assume this groups and... 
I mean, I understand why that's high up, but it's not. Like, once you see it once, I, I wish this would actually go back when I click go, go, go back. Go back. Moving a giant chunk of marble. Ooh, I feel like I've seen this. Nope, I haven't seen this one. Lord. I mean, it... Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Um, so I know we have a varied crowd out here. Does anyone know how heavy one of these cats are? I, I don't, actually. Not offhand. I know they're massive, obviously. Um, and they must wave way, like, you know... I'm gonna guess, like, five tons or something like that. But, um... I don't know how, exactly how much. So if anyone does know, I'd really like to know. Because that'll tell me how big that chunk of marble is. <laughs> Sterling Council have photoshopped hard hats on their workers. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> oh, that is funny. It was well done Photoshop, but still, obviously Photoshopped. That's funny. Um, <laughs> wow! Don't do this. Wear hard hats always. Wear hard hats. We've had five to six people scrape slash cut themselves walking past this exposed thermostat. So we finally complained. Came in this morning and found this solution. Beware, danger, turn back now. Injuries are not covered by workman's comp. I can't read what that bottom one says. That's got to be... I want to say, like, Portuguese. It ain't Spanish. I know that much. And it ain't French. Maybe it's... Italian? I'm not, I don't actually know what that is, and I definitely don't know how to pronounce it, and we're not going to bother butchering another language today right now. Thanks. Danger. Danger. Danger, I figured out. <laughs> Why? Why can't you just get, like, a a cup thing that goes over that? There's There's got to be a plastic container out there, like, for sandwiches, that you can just duct tape over that. How hard is that? Just use a queer one so you can see it. And then literally just duct tape it over. Heck, you can just use duct tape and cover it. Uh, sharps container. These people apparently never had one. <gasps> Needles were poking out of the box. Sharps is a bad thing at work and, and something that we get a lot of training with. Oh, Lord. And obviously these is needles, whereas I work with knives. Slightly different. Um, but this is such a bad plan in so many ways. So when you're working with a knife and walking with a knife, you need to be shouting out sharp, sharp behind sharp, all the way down the line. Because otherwise, somebody is bound to turn around and step into you when you're walking with a knife. And that always results in something bad happening. Though, ironically, the worst cut we had at the restaurant I used to work at was not with a knife. It was with a dishwashing tray. Because the guy managed to drop the tray, slip on some water, and um, like do a full knee drop straight onto this metal tray, which then gave him like a good, like we're talking like three, four inch gash by like half an inch deep, or an inch and a half deep. Yeah, stitches, right? Okay, Woodstock 1969 sound crew members begin being craned up to their stations. What? Holy smokes. Yeah, I I wouldn't be doing that. You can't there's there's no amount of money that you can pay me, they'll ever see me doing that. A, scared of heights here. And B, no, just no. 
Nope. So I'm uncomfortable even looking at it. Nope. We're nope. <laughs> I'll I'll do my best. Emergency phone is out of service. Please do not have an <laughs> Please do not have an emergency at this location. Yeah, yeah, so about that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, thankfully, in the age of cell phones, you probably don't need an emergency phone anymore. Unless, I mean, that looks like concrete. That's definitely concrete. So, if this is... Uh, sorry, brick. Those are both bricks. Not concrete. Um, however, if this is deep enough inside a, a brick building or a concrete building, it's possible you don't have any cell phone reception. And if there's no Wi-Fi, you definitely don't have any, but... <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody needs a rotating equipment safety course. Okay. Oh, this is a bad plan. What is he doing? And why? What did he think was going to happen? He should be glad that's only a car tire. Good lord, some machines I've worked with, they catch a piece of you. And what comes out the other side is not going to look human anymore. That car tire bumped over his hand. I mean, it's going to hurt for a long time. But I, I don't. You know, I, I doubt he broke anything. Um. Jeez. Words not here right now. Holy smokes. <sighs> and no one else stopped him. Like, that's the thing. Nobody said anything to him. <laughs> Maybe he was the boss. I, I don't know. If you forget the parking brake, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, that's true. I can't think of a situation. No, it's not moving, right? It is moving. It is moving. <laughs> oh, Lord. If you... I'm... Mm, that's going to... Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's going to go badly. But he got in it. Touch. I mean, imagine the cleanup on that. So much cleanup going to have to happen. Because, of course, I mean, there's just spilled gas everywhere. You can't leave that there. That's safety hazard. <sighs> Plus, you then have to explain to your boss. I mean, don't forget, that's going to keep gushing out of the side of that, that vehicle until he can get around the vehicle again. This is going to mean like an add 10, 20 seconds and turn it off. So I have a math question for you guys. <laughs> How much liquid would you lose through a... <laughs> well, let's, let's call it a... What, like an 8-inch pipe? Over, uh... Let's, let's go with 40 seconds. Assuming that's the time for him to realize things are going... What, for snap here? Him to get in, turn it off, and then realize they still got to run out and turn this off again? That is just horrible. That poor guy. Probably lost his job over that. I can't see it. Like, right? Best workplace notice I've ever seen. What's well, a notice on it? Notice this toilet works best when you pee directly into it rather than on the seat. <laughs> Uh, on the seat, floor, and general surroundings. Yeah, I agree. That, that's probably how that's supposed to work. Teaching kids poor standards. This seems controversial somehow. 
I don't know who's running the company that Thomas the Tank Engine works for, but Osa needs to get in there and shut this place down. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last 45 minutes, I've witnessed three derailments, a bridge collapse, a crane drop, a huge crate, and then not report it to the superiors, two train collisions, two overwater trains, one need help stopping, one tripped on a tight, or tipped on a tight cur turn, and one train wreck that was abandoned in the snow. Wow. Update. Thomas was almost knocked into the ocean by a train that was on the wrong track. Yeah. I mean, that's a TV show for kids. It's fun to think about, but, like, I mean, yeah. My favorite sign at work. Mounted on our centrifuge. Caution. Ear and eye protection required. Not only will this kill you, but it will hurt the whole time you're dying. Yes. That's bad. Let's not go with the killing us part, huh? Okay. Cool. That's... <laughs> oddly... <laughs> Make me second guess whether I want to be in this location, which is probably exactly what it's for. Can I post something positive? This signage is stunningly effective. Oh, okay. Fire door, do not obstruct. Ah, look at that. That's interesting. I mean, obviously, it's just like simply painted on the floor with a small stencil, but. It clearly denotes where you're not to stand, which means that like all of this location, all here can be uh, filled with stuff. And everything will be fun. You can even stack stuff back here. Just don't stack stuff in the yellow. Cool, right? That's... More people should do that. I'm sorry, that last one was inappropriate and had to get cut. Uh, emergency exit in a friend's office building. First time they opened it during a fire alarm. Oh, good lord. Good lord. How? Why? Does it go to a different building? Or is this the same building and, and the... The owner is just being an idiot and bricked over. It's got to go to a different building, right? I mean, this has got to be a different building than, than the one they're in. And they just, like, extended it and bricked over this random door. Which they obviously didn't realize was a fire exit. Right? Nobody would be dumb enough to actually brick over an actual fire exit, right? That's probably not true. I just want that to be true, right? Our engineering teacher pulled out this pulled this out of the closet since we weren't wearing goggles. Wait, no. We weren't wearing our goggles. He's my favorite. Okay. Ah. Uh, Carol never wore her safety goggles. Now she doesn't need them. It's true. You don't wear safety goggles. You don't need safety goggles eventually. You just don't have eyes. It's the same with, you know, finger and hand protection and foot protection and all that other stuff. The, the head protection, that you're going to need to wear head protection otherwise eventually. Um, you won't need it, but you won't be needing it for long, right? It, it'll be a fairly short not needing it kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know if this is my favorite. But I understand why it's number one. Um, which was your favorite? I think... I think my favorite is probably going to be either this one or the new... Oh no, the helicopter crash. Obviously it's going to be the helicopter crash for me. What was I thinking? Obviously it's the second one we did was, was my favorite. So what's your favorite? Tell me, please. I'd like to know. Um, but that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a like. Um, obviously, if this video gets a bunch of likes and a bunch of views, and I'll keep doing them. I have other 
um, Reddit's subreddits lined up that I've wanted to do and haven't gotten around to in the end. So we'll see if you guys want or not. So thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IO Ether out.